Good evening ladies and gentlemen and today we're going to show you my chronograph watch a rotary chronograph and what this watch can do is quite hilarious so we shall begin now before we do I'll outrun what the model number is The model number is, if I can get it into the correct lighting, I can show you, G3031UCAR3995ATM water resistant. Now we're going to pin it down so that when I press the buttons it's not going to slide. <laughs> so the first thing we've got is the time, which is the time just now, 9.20pm, May 31st, 2022. Press the top right button, it takes you to the date. Press it again, takes you back to the time. So I'll do that one more time. Press the top right, takes you to the date, the calendar. Wait five seconds and it'll revert back to the time. If you press the top left, that shows you your alarm which is set to the back to the future time, which is when the lightning struck the clock tower. <laughs> if you press it again, you'll see that the second hand is set to the middle. That is for loud beep, low beep, and no beeping. And then after a while, it goes back to the time. That one doesn't seem to do anything. Let's go to calendar. Now, in order to set the calendar, I have to untake it from the table. And then you're going to do it by pulling this pin out. Pull the crown out. Top right controls the second hand. One, two, three and then back to 12. So I'm not sure what that is supposed to indicate. But if anyone has any comments, please leave a comment so that I can know how to use this properly because I haven't used it in 20 years. Press back in. Press again. It's going to take us to the alarm. So going through all the settings, so you've got calendar, alarm, pull the crown out, and you can set your alarm to a low tone, no tone, or high tone, as in the beep. Loud beep, low beep, or no beep. And then these control... This one controls the this one controls the minute hand. Set it back to ten oh four PM. It's a good thing because when the hour hand moves it goes back unless you change it yourself.
So I'll do it one more time. See that? Very clever. And this one controls the hour hand. Let's put it on the table so you can see it better. There you go. So that's for the alarm. Now if I press it again, you can go to alarm two. So there's two alarms on this. Press the top one. Top right tests the alarm. And that's your alarm. Now if you go to the zero, that's to make sure that all the hands are in alignment. Press the top left and they swing. Press the top left, they swing as well as the top right, just to let you know that everything's all in order. Even though, so all any button you press, they'll just stay in the, at the 12, just to show you that they're in the correct alignment. And you pull the pin out to make sure they're all set to the 12, for the minute, the hour, and the seconds hand. This is stopwatch mode, CHR. Press that, and that starts your stopwatch. And there you will see it ticking away. And then to stop it, you just press that button. Press again to start, press again to stop. So you start it. Top left one doesn't do anything. So you press the top left and then the bottom, sorry, top right, bottom left to reset. Press the crown and then you're in timer mode. Typically, that's supposed to be timer. For some reason, it's in timer. Right, that's the timer mode. So press that. I don't know why it's going into time for some reason. This is the part where I need to, this is why I need to get it serviced. For some reason, when you select timer, it doesn't stay in timer. That's the timer working now. That's it in timer mode. So you can set your clock to t tell the time backwards if you wanted to, like a backwards clock. So when it's in timer, you press the top right button and it'll start ticking backwards. You pull the crown out to set your time. Let's say it's 12 o'clock p.m. and you want your clock to start 
telling the time backwards, set the hands to 12 o'clock, and then press the top right button to start the timer, it'll start ticking backwards. So typically when it's like 1 o'clock, it's going to say 1 o'clock the other way on your watch. Typically like 11 o'clock as an hour's pass has counted down. So it's quite hilarious. So you press that, and then press that to start it, and then press that to count it down. The last time I played about with it was when I had it set to that, but I need to set it back to 12. But there you have it. Local time. It's 9.30 right now. But for that, it actually says 10.30. Because I've set the local time to Italian time for when I next visit Italy. Or France. To visit family. And then the time is the time here, at my destination. And again, press that to check your date. Press again to go back to your time. Press that to go to your alarm. And then press that to check your date at the same time. And then when you're done, press again. It goes back to time. And that's it. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Date taken, May 31st, 2022. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen.